Welcome to Soil Science Australia videos on identifying soils using field techniques. Today we're going to be looking at identifying soil texture in the field. So determining soil texture is really important to assess the percentage of sand, silt and clay that might be in each layer of your soil profile. So soil texture can be quite simply assessed. What we want to be doing is grabbing a sample of the soil from a given layer then we need to wet it up and create a bolus, which is a ball of soil, wet ball of soil, which we can then ribbon out. So today, what we've got to help us with that, we've got some water, we've got a mortar and pestle, which can help break down the sample. Sometimes when it's dry or have some um, coarser fragments in there, might need to break it down to get it uh, malleable. And then we've got a two millimeter sieve, which we can sieve that sample out uh, to get a nice sort of refined sample that we can then create a bolus from. So in here is a topsoil. I've got a topsoil and three other layers from the soil profile here today. We want to work through the soil texture on the way down. So once we've got that um, sieved out soil, we just want to grab a sample of that. Once we've got that in our hand, what we then want to do is get some water and then spray bottle works best. We can then spray it on and just slowly wet it up. What you want to do is a bit of water on there and then squeeze it between your hands to just slowly wet it up. Once it's got wet enough you can start forming a ball. Need a little bit more water on there. So we want to be able to just form a ball with this soil. Sandier soil, you can start feeling that already. That sandier soil doesn't want to hold together so well we might add a little bit more soil to that just so we have enough to make a nice ball. So as you can see, you've got a ball that can be essentially will hold together. So you've got that nice, nice sort of moisture content. Then from there, we want to then squeeze it between the thumb and forefinger and just see if that will hold together. And you'll see we, we, what we want to do is measure the parts that break off once we've gone beyond our finger. And that's just dropping off there. So once we've got a selection of those broken off parts of the ribbon, we can then get them, use a ruler, and then measure the length of that ribbon. So that's coming in around a bit over a centimetre long. So it's a sandier textured soil, bit of a, uh, you can feel there is some clay, so it's a bit more of a loamy sand, this soil. Um, and from there, we can use a chart to determine what uh, that, based on that length of that ribbon, what clay content is in that soil and then from there we can diagnose what texture it is. So out of this the primary indicator of what we're chasing is the actual clay content of a soil. So even though we might not um, be necessarily trying to get the exact soil texture, what we want to get a gauge is how the clay content is potentially increasing or decreasing down through the soil profile. So that's our top soil and then we can go down through the layers rinse off the hands to the next layer that's where in the soil pit we did feel a change in that that soil texture or we felt there was more increase in clay content down through there so it'll be interesting now we go and ribbon this out get that feeling in your hands get that ball ball shape in your hands initially and then we want to then squeeze it between your thumb and forefinger and then try and ribbon that out so hopefully with the increase in clay content we should be seeing a greater ribbon. As you can see it's already stickier, harder to push, so we already know that there is a greater <coughs> clay content in there and as you can see we are getting some longer ribbons. Try and have a few goes at it just to then compare what sort of lengths you do get. So I'll go with those three and we put the ruler over them so these ones are looking around 30 millimetres, so three centimetres. So we've got increase in clay content, we can still feel some sand in there, but as you could see from the, the ribbon, that um, there is a lot more clay in this, this soil, but there is still that sandy element in there. So now we've got an understanding of where the clay is sitting throughout the profile, and we can understand how that texture is, is changing um, down through that profile, use that clay as an indicator of where 
Um, potentially a point of restriction might be, so an increase in clay content, we can then say what else might be accumulating at that layer as well. So suddenly by looking at the soil texture through the profile, we can then get a great starting point of some indicators in where to further look when we're assessing soil profiles. So for more information on understanding soil texture, please head to our website www.soilscienceaustralia.org.au